So what I'd like to do for this one, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, we need to determine what the vertex is, the focus, um, the directrix, and the parabola and sketch its graph. All right. So um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I need to determine if this is going to be vertical or horizontal. Right? And we look at this, what is going to be our squared term? So since we're dealing with a parabola, since I only have one squared term, I know I'm going to be dealing with a parabola, right? Because when we talked about ellipses and hyperbolas, we had the y and the x in the squared. Since I only have one term squared, I know I'm going to be dealing with a parabola. OK, Brendan? Yes. So um, here we're going to have the x, uh, x term is squared. Now when our x term is squared, that's going to tell us we're either going to have a parabola that's going to be open up or down, or to open to the left or to the right. Since the x is going to be squared, that's going to tell me I'm going to have a vertical axis symmetry, so my parabola is going to open up or down. So it's going to either look something like this or look something like that. All right, something that a parabola that we're used to when we were dealing with functions. So now that I've determined that it is going to have a vertical axis symmetry, the next thing I want to do is write in our equation. Okay. So that is going to be our standard form for our parabola. All right. Now that we know the standard form of parabola, we're just going to deal with how we can figure out what the center is, what the focus is, and what our directrix is. So the center is h comma k. So when I look at this problem, um, remember since our standard form has x minus h and x minus k. We're going to be dealing with the opposite inside of our inside of this equation. So my center is going to be a negative yeah. 3 halves comma positive 2. All right. Um, the next thing is we need to find the value of p. p is going to help us find our directrix, and it's going to help us find our, uh, our directrix, and it's going to also help us uh, find our our focus. Now, the main important thing that I would like to do is, actually, let's, we can draw this over here. So let's just plot this point so we can kind of get an idea. Because I can't remember this one, I don't think we had to graph it up and then up to. All right, so there's are going to be our center. So let's figure out what our p value is going to be, right? And remember, I told you this either opens up or it opens down. So our p-value is whatever is multiplied in front up there is going to equal our 4p. So we can say 4 equals 4p, right? Whatever is in front, say if we factor anything out, remember, whatever, whatever is in front, that equals your 4p. So divide by 4, and I get p equals 1. So remember p, that's very important because when we're dealing with the parabola, and especially when we have our, um, uh, whenever we have our parabola and it's going to be dealing with um, a vertical axis symmetry, our p is going to be h comma k plus p. And that's going to provide you with your focus. <coughs> All right? <clears throat> so if you look at my focus for this problem, um, my focus is going to be in negative 3 halves, comma, positive 3. All right? Then we need to figure out the directors. Okay? So my focus <coughs> is up there. Focus. So now that tells me, remember my focus, <coughs> that's going to be where my parabola is going to kind of focus into, right? So therefore, my parabola has to go in this direction. Now remember, the definition of a parabola says the distance from... Um, any point on a parabola to its focus is that same distance down to its directrix. So the way that we find our directrix when we have a vertical axis symmetry, I already have it right there, directrix is going to be y equals your k value minus p. So I just take uh, my, my k value, which is 2, and I subtract uh, my p, which is 1. So my directrix is y equals 1. So I, therefore, I have a little line right here. And that's my directrix. OK? So in this problem, you know, this little fraction that we were worried about, it's not really affecting it. Because since it's a vertical um, axis of symmetry, 
all we're going to be doing to find the focus and the directrix, we're only going to be dealing with in our k value. If this was a horizontal axis symmetry, then we'd be adding and subtracting our p value to our h. Okay. Our h. Make sense?